going on, everybody? I'm Pierce Dalton. And I'm Annie Champagne, and this is your Falcon 5 News. If you haven't already heard, seniors won the float competition, of course, and juniors and sophomores tied for second place. Everyone had some really great floats this year. And congratulations again to those on the homecoming court. A special congratulations to this year's homecoming queen, Ella Rydell. On a sadder note, benchmarks are around the corner as we end the first nine weeks of school. Next week, Tuesday is science, Wednesday is English, Thursday is social studies, and finally, Friday is math and career tech. Friday night's football game is a night to honor first responders. Fans are encouraged to fill the stadium with red, white, and blue. First responders get in the game free with their badge. After their performance at Friday night's game, the Big Blue Band has their first competition this weekend at Northeast Mississippi College. Let's all wish them the best of luck. Now let's check in with Landry and Becca for Fresh Talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Fresh Talk. I'm Landry Kilpatrick. And I'm Becca Beaver. And here's a look at what's happening this week at the Freshman Center. Last week was homecoming, and we had a lot going on. That's right. Our advisory teams competed in an advisory Olympic with a lot of fun events. Congratulations to Miss Martin's advisory for coming out on top. Another huge congratulations to the Freshman Center homecoming court. At the game on Monday night, Bo Bursky and Allison Ball were crowned as the FFC's homecoming king and queen. And a congratulations to the football team for a homecoming win. Need some new Falcon spirit wear? The FFC still has some in stock. See Dr. Thorne to purchase some. Mark your calendars and choose your favorite outfit. FFC Picture Day is November 2nd. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching and Go, Go Falcons! How's it going, Falcons? I'm Cameron Seal with a look at your Falcon 5 weather for this week. Glad to be back to talk about this week's weather as we head into the new month. This week continues a gradual warming trend as the average high is a balmy 88 degrees, while the average low is a not too cold 62 degrees. As you head into the weekend, it will be mostly sunny with a few clouds in the picture. It all changes on Sunday when it will be fully sunny with hardly any clouds in the sky. Therefore, you might want to think about breaking into your six pack of waters this weekend because I most certainly will be. Monday and Tuesday will provide us with the same trend we will have throughout the weekend as it will reverse back to mostly sunny on Monday and fully sunny going into Tuesday. Unfortunately, the drought conditions will linger into next week as there is no precipitation forecast for this week. Let's look at your Falcon 5 weather, have a splendid week, stay heat cognizant, and go Falcon! What's up Falcon fans? I'm Caden Sledge and welcome back to your Falcon 5 Sports. Our cross country team will be headed to Scottsboro this weekend for the black and gold meet. Last week, Falcon football took on James Clemens for the homecoming game. The Falcons played hard throughout the whole game, but fell short with the final score being 14-7. They'll be back at Brawley this Friday to take on Minor. Volleyball traveled to Austin Tuesday. They come up a little short after winning the first set, but couldn't find their way back in their other sets. They were back on the courts in Central last night. We will update you on those scores next week. That's all for your Falcon 5 Sports. Make sure you check back next week for your latest athletic news. I'm Caden Sledge. Go Falcons! Hi, I'm Kendall Kilpatrick. And I'm Brooke Williams, and welcome back to What's Poppin'. This is for all the Swifties out there who love keeping up with all things Taylor. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were seen being affectionate at a post-game restaurant date. She also attended his football game and was pictured sitting next to his mom. Players were even seen looking up at her during the game, including Travis. Taylor and Travis aren't the only romance going on. Madeline Klein was spotted at Pete Davidson's comedy show in Vegas, and now the dating rumors have been confirmed. That doesn't surprise me. Who hasn't he dated yet? That's the truth. While talking about football players, we have to talk about who will be headlining the 2024 Super Bowl halftime show. It has been announced that Usher will be headlining the halftime show this year. I'm really excited for the show. Me too. My favorite headliner so far has been The Weeknd, but I think Usher can top it. Rihanna's been my favorite performance. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Kendall Kilpatrick. And I'm Brooke Williams, and this is What's Poppin'. This week, the Falcon 5 News team welcomed a young and upcoming news anchor to our studio. What's up, Falcon fans? I'm Cora Shepard, and this is your Falcon 5 report. Uh, Tuesday, it's going to be sunny. And... Thank you for watching. Go Falcons! 
Thanks, Cora, for your visit. We look forward to seeing you here on the Falcon Pod newscast in a few years. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Annie Champagne. And I'm Pierce Dalton. Go, Go Falcon! Falcon.